Okay, the caterer has been set. Luis is going to take the pictures. Todd will handle the music. And as long as we can keep Grandpa from doing his tribute to Willie Nelson, this will be the best anniversary party Mom and Dad ever had. I'll do the best I can, honey, but you know how he loves that damned red bandana. <laughs> uh, waiter, hello, waiter, check, please. You know, Nana, next to you, they have been married longer than anybody I know. <laughs> I still remember the day your father came over to ask for your mother's hand. He was so terrified we'd say no. So did you make him sweat? Are you kidding? Our only comment was, how soon can you have her out? <laughs> <laughs> well, Nana, if your uh, toast is that touching, there won't be a dry eye in the house. <laughs> oh, waiter, waiter. I'm not trying to surrender to the busboys here. <laughs> yeah, if you've got to go, I'll take care of the check. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Your grandfather and I are going to a reggae concert tonight, and I have a two o'clock wash, dry, and dreadlock. <laughs> Goodbye. See you Saturday. Okay. Sorry to keep you waiting, but that guy in the corner is trying to impress his date by sending back his bottled water. <laughs> oh, that's my dad. With some woman. Who's not my mother. Who he's kissing. I hope this won't affect my tip. <laughs> are we talking about here? A uh, friendly thank you for lunch peck or more of a meet and greet with her uvula? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she was just choking on a piece of chicken and dad was helping her dislodge it <laughs> with his tongue. Oh. I I'm sure that there's a perfectly good uh, explanation. Okay, perhaps your father has an identical twin. Huh? <laughs> or or a, a double walking around out there. You know? My own mother is often mistaken for uh, Brenda Vaccaro. <laughs> In Cuba? I'm trying to help you. Your father's obviously having an affair. Oh, my God. Look, Suze, at, at least he's trying to hide it. My parents had an open marriage. Imagine what it's like to wake up from a nightmare, run to the room, say, Mommy, can I sleep with you and Daddy? Then the mamas and the papas. Look, I know this is a shock, all right? But speaking as a child who went through the pain and agony of divorce, I totally recommend it. <laughs> with both your parents trying to buy your love, you're going to get a ton of great stuff. It's very cool. Vicky, this is not about trying to score a banana seat bike. <laughs> and look, I know that you're all really trying to help me here, but, but please shut up. Mm -hmm. I said shut up. <laughs> I don't want to hear another word from anybody. Hey, my father is kissing strange women in restaurants and my head feels like it's going to explode. So if anybody needs me, I'll be in the stairwell screaming. It's a good idea. Yeah, who said that? Huh? <laughs> Why does this country make marriage so complicated? You know, in Latin countries, the men have mistresses, the women hide their money in the floor, and everybody's happy. You know? okay. And then what happens? They lower us 40 feet to where the sharks are feeding. And there's nothing but a metal cage between us and those powerful jaws? Thin metal, bending and giving with every thrust of the mighty fish. I am so there. <laughs> Okay, I'm starting to have a problem with the big, scary German girl. No, 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 I agree. She's dangerous. Somebody has to talk to Jeff. And say what? We're afraid your girlfriend is going to kill you? I'm not just him. I, I keep expecting her to walk in with a crossbow and give us all a sporting head start. I know. Every time she comes near me, I... Well, I play dead. Well, obviously, there's only one thing to do here. All those in favor of Vicky talking to Jack, say aye. Aye. I, Congratulations. No, no, you guys, I cannot do it. I have no tag. You know that. You are gutless wussy. See that there? I have no tag. You... Dad, there's something I need to talk to you about. Yeah, what's that? Oh. Oh, this is hard. Oh, wow, this is really hard. Oh, dear God. You're pregnant. No. Need money? No. Gay? Dad! 
If you are, I'm okay with that. You know, I have a Katie Lang tape in my car. She's very good. Yes, she is. I'm not gay. It's your choice. Or nature's. The jury's still out. I saw you having lunch today in the marina. You did? Yeah, I did. Oh, my God, Dad. It's true you're having an affair? Susan, you gotta believe me, nothing happened. Then I saw you kissing her. Y yeah, okay, well, that did happen. <laughs> I swear to you, that is as far as it has gone, and that's the truth. Oh, uh, I, I, I can't deal with this. Are you in love with her? No, wait, don't answer that. Okay, go. No, don't. Okay, go. No, I'm not in love with her. Just. Mother and I have been having problems the last decade or so. But as of this moment, it is over. I will never see Tina again. Tina? Tina, oh God, now it's got a name. I feel terrible. You should. I'm so sorry. So am I. I'm going to go tell your mother. What, are you crazy? She needs to know the truth. No, no, she does not. I feel so guilty. Well, so you're going to make yourself feel better by making mom feel worse? It was just a couple of kisses. Live with it. The important thing is mom must never know. But Susan, I, I feel like I got to do something. Ooh, maybe I could get her a more expensive anniversary present. Well, what'd you get her? Well, you know how she loves her garden. Yeah. Got her a composter. <laughs> Great, so if she does find out, she'll have a way to dispose of your body. <laughs> Jack? Got a minute? Sure, come on in. Oh, don't tell me, Kate. Yeah. Well, what was it this time, Jack? Shark, jellyfish, electric eel? Well, actually, she got a little carried away this morning with the loofah. <laughs> Why don't you have a seat? I can't. Standing is good. Okay, where to start? Where to begin? Where to jump off? You got about two minutes, and then I'm gonna start dressing my hiney. <laughs> okay, Kate has a total nut job, and we think she's going to hurt you. And we're talking about the big hurt here. We're talking about death. And you can't fix that with some salve and a tongue depressor, my friend. I thought you liked Kate. Well, we thought we did too. Wow, this is quite a shock. We just thought you should know, man. <laughs> Well, I am glad that we have the kind of relationship where you feel comfortable enough to express your true feelings in an honest and open manner. You're going to kill me now, aren't you? Not if you run real fast. So, how did he take it? Surprisingly well. In fact, uh, he'd like to thank you both personally. <laughs> Set up? Definitely. I think the party's going very well. Do you think the party's going well? Very well. Uh-huh. I think Mom and Dad are having a good time, too. Do you think Mom and Dad are having a good time? I do. Yeah. Good. I think the party's going well, too. Sweet mother, what were they thinking? Is it my imagination, or does that dog look embarrassed? Susan, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? Well, besides the babbling, you're doing some sort of strange military maneuver with the finger sandwiches. Well, I just want everybody to have a good time, that's all. Well, I'm sure they will, now that you've touched all the food. Susan, darling, this is a wonderful night. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome, Mom. Hi. What are you all talking about? Everything okay? Everything's fine, Dad. I was just thanking Susan for a wonderful evening. It is a great party, Susan. And aren't I the luckiest guy in the world to be married to this foxy mama? Bill, darling, loosen your grip. You're cutting off my circulation. Susan, can I borrow you for a minute? Sure. Uh, can I come too? Bill, you wouldn't be interested. It's just girl talk. I said would. I'm interested in anything you have to say. It's okay, Dad. We'll be fine. Have a tiny sandwich and go mingle. Don't be long. I won't. I miss you already. Um. <laughs> what has gotten into your father? What do you mean? Well, for the last couple of days, he's been all over me. 
hugging me, kissing me. It's, it's like I don't even know him anymore. Now, you saw him the other night. Did he seem strange to you? No, no, absolutely not. No, we, uh, we talked to Lamps for five minutes and he was gone. Susan, what aren't you telling me? I'm not telling you anything. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not, not telling you anything. You found out, didn't you? About what? You know what. My affair. What? <laughs> You're having an affair too? <laughs> I'm not proud. What do you mean too? I didn't say two. Yes, you did. You just said no. you're having an affair too. No, 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 no. You, you didn't let me finish. I, uh, what I said was you're having an affair too. Remember? <laughs> like the movie? Susan, who else is having an affair? Hi, don't mind me. I just came to look up something in the dictionary. Oh, here it is, transmogrify. <laughs> you don't have to look it up, Bill. I know what it means. It means you're having an affair. Susan! She forced it out of me. How could you? How could you? How could she what? Excuse me, we're talking about you here. Oh. Why don't you just tell him, Mom? Tell me what? All right, I'm having an affair too. What? Are you happy now? You're in the loop. You're all ready to open the gifts. He's having an affair. So is she. I guess the gifts can wait. <laughs> Do you want me to tell the guests to leave? No. No. We will deal with this later. I'm not going to be embarrassed in front of my friends. We're going to go out there, open gifts, and to celebrate our many years of marital bliss. I'm okay. Susan, how much liquor did you order? Not nearly enough. <laughs> oh, how about the photo of the happy couple? Or just a couple. <laughs> Perfect. Can't wait to be alone in the dark room with that one. Okay, everybody, before we open the gifts, I think somebody has a little something to say about her parents. Huh? Yeah. 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 That, that's okay. That's, that's okay. Dose, 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 okay. Dose, dose. okay. <laughs> Marriage. Marriage is a long and winding path. Up a really steep hill <laughs> and uh, sometimes you may slip <laughs> but uh, when you do you've got to grab onto your partner for balance and if you do that and he's slipping too then maybe you have to um, grab onto something else like um, like religion or um, or counseling <laughs> or uh, perhaps just another look at uh, what were supposed to be lifelong vows well, I know that these two people have not forgotten those vows. And uh, that is why they are and must remain a beacon for us all. Uh, so, everybody, lift up your glasses and uh, give a toast to Mom and Dad and all the friends that they have had. <laughs> The bride. Oh. Pig. <laughs> Tramp. <laughs> Isn't that cute? How they still have those pet names for each other. <laughs> Please, you've got to talk about this. I know that if we've got some constructive communication, we can fix it, okay? Dad, why don't you go first? Who is he? Oh, I really don't think that that it's is... It's Mr. Del Sordo. Constructive. Our dry cleaner? <laughs> well, you can be damn sure I'm gonna take my business elsewhere. Apparently, you already have. See, this is good, this is good, we're talking. I can't believe you had sex with our dry cleaner. Who said anything about sex? We talked, we had tea, we connected on a very deep emotional level. So nothing happened? I said we connected. He showed more interest in me in three weeks than you have in the last three years. 
But she didn't sleep with him. And Dad didn't sleep with her. So technically, no one's had an affair. Well, I don't know about you two, but already I'm feeling a lot better. <laughs> See, if we just talk things over, there is nothing that we can't deal with. Your father and I haven't had sex in six months. Okay, why don't you bat that around a little while I straighten up? I didn't think she was interested. And besides, why do I always have to make the first move? Can't talk now, straightening. <laughs> when we first started dating, he couldn't keep his hands off me. Once again, not to me, to him. <laughs> Remember that car trip to Oregon? We pulled over in the vineyard. Things got so hot, I shattered the windshield with my clog. <laughs> That's the man I married. What happened to him? What? what? I'll tell you what happened to him. He spent the best years of his life working his ass off so you could go from clogs to ferragamos. That's what happened to him. Oh, so it's my fault. No, I didn't say that. I... Oh... oh. Hell with it. What's the difference? It's over. No, 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 no. You've, you've spent too many years building something to just throw it away. Come on. You, you owe it to yourselves to give it another try. Well, then you owe it to me. Oh, come on, honey. You're a grown woman. You don't need us. Well, what about a uh, duchess? What? That dog needs you. <laughs> What's going to happen to her? Susan. Darling, Duchess died three weeks ago. <laughs> Duchess is dead? No, oh, when were you going to tell me? We were waiting for the right time. <laughs> this is the right time? Apparently not. <laughs> I know, I came to see you. Oh, God. You're gonna give me a head start, right? <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> so, how are you? Why do you hate me? <laughs> hate you? <laughs> Don't be silly, I could never hate anyone as strong and tall and strong as you are. What are you doing right now? Maybe we can get to know each other. Gee, I would love to, but Jack has me finishing this darn restaurant review. Don't you worry. I'll take care of Jack. <laughs> but I said don't worry. <laughs> okay, but I think you should know that there are people who care about me. <laughs> We're only going skating. You mean like roller skating? Sort of. I know deep down inside they still love each other. I know they do. Do you know it, or is it just something you want to believe? Well, I know that they've had their problems, but I always thought that their marriage could survive anything. It was the one thing I could count on, and now I can't. I feel like I'm four years old, and I am lost in a department store. Oh, well, you're not. And you can still count on them. You just can't count on them together. But I want them to be together. Well, if they're not happy, should they stay together just for you? Well... Maybe. <laughs> you know, one of the hardest things for parents to learn is to let their children go. And sometimes the child has to let the parents go, too. You know, for an old broad, you're pretty smart. Yeah. <laughs> it's just one of the delightful side effects of osteoporosis. <laughs> well, Nana was right. I'm just going to go over there right now, and I'm going to tell them that it's their life, and I have to let them live it. Wonderful. You might want to throw in an I love you at the end. Parents, eat that up. <laughs> well, uh, Jack, I was, I was kind of hoping that you could um, come along with me, you know, for emotional support. Your car still in the shop? Till Tuesday. <laughs> okay, now, um, once we get there, should I wait in the car, or uh, can I get out and play with Duchess? Oh. <laughs> Anybody home? Oh, 
Mom must be in the kitchen. <laughs> What were they thinking? Oh my God! What? Oh, what's that? Oh! oh. You! Yeah. What? What? Oh. what? Susan, I can't! <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Keene? Uh, so, you, you kids want some lunch? <laughs> So does this uh, mean they're not getting a divorce? Hmm. Well, I don't know about that, but they're gonna try some therapy. And after what I saw, so am I. <laughs> I always thought that relationships got easier as you got older. I guess I was wrong. Yeah, from what I've seen, it's just one hideous, bloody struggle all the way to the grave. <laughs> I don't know, the, the struggle may be what keeps it interesting. Oh yeah, sure, you'd say that. You get to have a mistress. <laughs> Hey, what happened to you? Let's just say I spent a little quality time yesterday with Fraulein Deathwish. <laughs> Apparently, someone gave her the idea that I don't like her. Uh, well, the important thing is that you two got a chance to bond. And clot? <laughs> Vicky, you really should sit down. I can't. <laughs> That's all right, though. Since I accepted her challenge, I got her to accept one of mine. Oh, give it up, Vicky. Kate's not afraid of anything. Oh, yeah? See the pretty girl in that mirror there? What mirror? Where? Look at that <laughs> Such a pretty face, such a pretty dress, such a pretty smile, such a pretty face. Such a pretty she. Charming. Oh, so charming. It's alarming how charming. 